Hello everyone. So uh, we will be seeing this particular problem today. A spacecraft flying in a straight course with a velocity of 75 km per second. So we have a spacecraft whose initial velocity is 75 km per second fires its rocket motors for 6 seconds. So the rocket motors are fired for a time interval of 6 seconds. At the end of this time, its speed is 120 km per second. So after 6 seconds, the velocity of the spacecraft becomes 120 km per second. So what we need to find out? Find the spacecraft's average acceleration while the motors were firing, the distance traveled by the spacecraft in the first 10 seconds after the rocket motors were started. So it's a very simple question on motion in one dimension. So you see here when the rocket motors are fired, then the spacecraft accelerates. Okay. So basically when the rocket motors are fired for six second time, so for six second time, the spacecraft accelerated from 75 kilometer per second to 120 kilometer per second. All right. So if we get along with the solution, you see initial velocity is 75 km per second. Okay. Final velocity 120 km per second. And this change in velocity has occurred in how much time? In 6 second time. Okay. So for a rectilinear motion, What we can say? We can say V is equals to U plus ET. So it implies A is equals to V minus U by T. So it is 120 minus 75 by 6. Okay. And that will give us how much? So here we are getting 45 by 6. 3 twos are 7.5 kilometer per second square. So that is the acceleration of the spacecraft. Now see if this is the acceleration of the spacecraft, this is the acceleration of the spacecraft. It is moving in a straight line, rectilinear motion. Now the rocket motors were fired for six seconds. So out of 10 seconds, the total time for which it has traveled is 10 seconds. Out of 10 seconds for six seconds, the spacecraft has accelerated. Okay. It has accelerated for 6 seconds. And for the remaining 4 seconds, the spacecraft has moved with uniform velocity. Right. Because acceleration occurred only for 6 second time. After 6 second, what was the final velocity of the spacecraft? 120 km per second. So with 120 km per second, it continued for 4 seconds after this 6 seconds. Rocket motors were on for 6 second time. So from 0 to 6 seconds, the spacecraft accelerated. And after 6 seconds, it acquired this velocity 120 km per second, with which it continued for the remaining 4 seconds. Alright. So if I consider the first 6 seconds, say I can write this one as T1, and I can write this one as uh, T2. Okay, so in the first six seconds, how much displacement has it covered? So in first six second displacement S1 can be written as U T1 plus half A T1 square. Why? Because the motion is with uniform acceleration. That's why. So therefore S1 is equals to 75 into 6 half acceleration 7.5 mind you we will get the answer in kilometer because 75 kilometer per second right time is 6 second so this will give us s1 equals to so we will get 4 uh, 50 plus 135 that will give us 585 kilometer okay so basically this is the displacement which the spacecraft covers in the first six seconds its motion is with uniform acceleration okay 
so it is uniformly accelerated of course this is also uniform uniformly accelerated motion in the next four second so in the next four second the spacecraft basically moves with uniform velocity of how much 120 km per second and it covers a displacement s2 which is equals to v times t2 why because after 4 second the velocity was 120 so it is 120 into 4 and that is nothing but 480 kilometer so if i want to find out what is the total displacement that the spacecraft has covered i am simply going to add this add these up so total displacement that the spacecraft has covered and this is nothing but 1065 kilometer the total displacement is 1065 kilometer so what is the core concept core concept is the spacecraft accelerates for the first six seconds only when the rocket motors were on and after six second it acquired final velocity 120 km per second and it continued with that final velocity for the next four seconds so what is the core concept the spacecraft accelerates uniformly for the first six seconds when the rocket motors were fired after which for the remaining four second it moved with uniform velocity okay so this is the core concept behind this problem all of you please go through this problem so this is a typical problem for class 9 okay class 8 class 9 this is present in uh, concise physics for icsc and uh, sometimes students find this problem difficult to solve okay because of this particular concept they think that for the entire time 10 seconds that the spacecraft is accelerating that is not true the spacecraft accelerates for the first six seconds and after six seconds when it achieves this 120 km per second it continues to move with that velocity of 120 km per second for the remaining time because the rocket motors are switched off thank you everyone please go through this numerical problem in detail i wish and i hope that this video helps you solve certain important concepts of physics thank you